I have a second channel, Cube Compium DDX. Hey everybody, here looking at the new Cube Computer Porta Cube system in its new location. Um, I do want to talk about a little something here, um, and it has to do about has to do with this right here. This is the Buy Easy um, USB Type C uh, and USB 3.0 front panel header um, that goes into a three and a half inch drive bay on the front of the system. It also provides a uh, micro SD and SD card slot. This product, although I think it's really great, um, it gives you a Type C port on the front. And it gives you a couple of USB 3 ports uh, as well as a card reader for SD and micro SD to uh, help update ports on an older case. This product has a design flaw. Let's just uh, be um, straight, straight honest with, with you about it. Um, it has a design flaw in it. And that design flaw has to do with power. Um, so this product connects to a single USB three header that plugs into the motherboard um, using the standard USB 3 connection and it uses oddly enough a type A USB 3 plug to plug the cable into this actual device but that's not really the flaw we're talking about um, it has to do with its, aux its, its auxiliary power so on the back of this device it has a um, SATA power connection like that of a hard drive or a SATA optical drive. Um, it does this to provide power, um, additional power to um, use, for example, the USB Type C, probably for um, like fast charging a phone or things like that. But the problem is a lot of modern motherboards, they actually, um, when they're in soft off or in standby, they actually provide power to USB ports from the uh, power supply units plus 5 volt standby rail and the uh, SATA power connection on the back of this device of course is connected to the 5 volt rail of the power supply as well as the 12 volt rail and 3.3 volt rails um, but for the purpose of this it actually draws power directly from the 5 volt rail so what happens is when the computer is in standby or is in soft off with a motherboard that has internal switching that switches the uh, power supply to the USB ports over to 5 volt standby in a, a standby state or um, shutdown, what happens is this device gets that power from the plus 5 volt standby rail through the USB port in the back and it ends up back feeding the plus 5 volt rail of the power supply so when the computer is turned off everything that gets 5 volts gets 5 volts from the 5 volt standby rail this can overload the plus 5 volt standby rail of the power supply because I mean the 5 volt standby rail is not a high power output rail it's really intended to power a few things like the power supply in its onboard circuitry. There's actually an auxiliary rail in the power supply for this. But it also supplies uh, standby power for the motherboard. So that way it can do sleep and things like that. Um, you can do wake on LAN or you can power the USB ports that way. Like for example, a keyboard and mouse. If you like tap a key or move the mouse, it can wake the computer out of standby. But the problem is with this by easy adapter, um, when you have it plugged in to the auxiliary power connection, when you have that plugged in, anytime the computer is in standby, it actually, again, back feeds power from the plus five standby rail, the power supply to the five volt rail, energizing everything on the five volt rail using five volt standby power. And depending on the computer setup, this can actually overload the plus 5 volt standby rail. Um, now, I'm going to say a lot of modern power supply units 
the uh, plus five volt standby rail is fed off of a uh, um, IC, which is actually a um, which is like a flyback controller, um, flyback switch. Uh, that's not, that's generally how the five volt standby works. Um, but some power supplies uh, use a different kind of uh, circuit called a two transistor design. And some of these units, and probably some that have the modern IC flyback design. Um, may not have protections built in so it can actually cause the uh, power supplies 5 volt standby rail to fail so if you have a look in this video clip here from when i was building this computer you can see exactly what happens when the uh, sata power connection is plugged into this by easy device okay everybody so i want to show y'all something really weird going on here so right now the system is in soft off it's on 5 volt standby only not running if you look here, we can see that everything that gets 5 volts is running, including this little meter, which for some reason is not showing the hard drive temperature. It could be defe a defective thermistor. I'll have to investigate that. But yeah, look at this. So You can see, of course, the thing does not start. You know what's causing this? Take a minute to guess. No, it's not the power supply's fault. I'm going to unplug this. You just heard it discharge. I'm going to disconnect this cable right here. Alright, so the cable to this by easy front panel header is now disconnected. Let's plug in power. And you can see nothing strange or unusual is going on anymore. System starts right up. I did actually start it off camera. Does take a minute to initialize here. All right, so here's what's going on, and this could be. I'm not going to say it's the fault of this, but I'm going to say it could be. <laughs> That's because this motherboard um, is feeding its USB ports off of five volt standby. Well, guess what else? Um, okay, so let me rephrase that. So. When this thing is in soft off, the USB ports are being fed by plus 5 volt standby. When the system is running, it could be fed off the plus 5 volt rail. Not 100% certain on that, but anyway. Um, when we have this auxiliary power connection plugged into the back of this device, it's actually backfeeding the plus 5 volt rail with 5 volt standby. So it looks like um, in order to use this, either I'm going to have to see if there's a way I can change the setting in the motherboard. Some do have this option to where the USB ports um, are not going to be fed off of 5 volt standby. Or I'm going to try to run this without its auxiliary power connection. The reason for the auxiliary power connection to begin with is to provide extra power for the Type C port. But other than that, we're up and running. Okay, so I'm in the uh, UEFI here in um, advanced and ACPI configuration. I'm on the deep sleep portion. I'm going to actually, right, so right now it's actually disabled. Um, it says configure deep sleep mode for power saving when the computer is shut down. We recommend disabling deep sleep for better uh, system compatibility and stability, but I'm going to actually set this to enabled in S4 and S5. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and save our changes and exit. That'll also save our um, XMP settings for the uh, memory. Alright, so I'm going to shut this off once it reboots.
All right, so I'm gonna plug that um, connection back in. Let's see what happens. Okay, so we're gonna plug in power to the power supply. I don't have the camera on tripod, so bear with me. Right, we go to the front. We see everything comes on for a brief moment, and it goes out. So it did briefly tie in the uh, plus five standby to everything, but then it um, disconnected too. And one thing I noticed right away after I saved that setting and unplugged the power supply, it took several seconds longer for um, it to discharge. So definitely less load on the uh, five volt standby rail. All right, let's go and try to start it. All right, same thing. So apparently it is an issue with this adapter. So what we're going to have to do is we're going to have to literally unplug this SATA power connection going to it, which is kind of a shame. I mean, I, 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 the thing is, what the, what the manufacturer of this device intended for was for that... Um, SATA power connection, the 5 volt rail to supplement the USB power but when your motherboard is tying a um, is apparently tying in the USB power with 5 volt standby that creates a bit of a conflict so um, yeah guys not good not good at all um, I'm going to say that's a design flaw um, now if the motherboard in question does not feed its USB ports off of standby power at all, then you'd probably be okay. But with many motherboards that do this, you're kind of, you basically can't use the auxiliary power connection on this. Personally, I think the manufacturer of this device should not have the 5 volt supply from the USB 3 port on the back tied in with the 5 volt supply of the SATA power port. Um, they should be separate. I mean, the only downside is, of course, these ports will not get power in standby, but in many cases, you don't want them to get power in standby. Um, because, I mean, the real purpose for that is for, like if you have a connected keyboard and mouse, that's really the reason you would, that's, I'd say the main reason why you want to power the USB ports in standby um, is for that, but otherwise, the USB ports really should not be getting power in standby. So, therefore, this device, um, the manufacturer needs to take this into account and they need to fix that. Because I could see this causing problems down the road. I mean, you could see um, in the video when the uh, auxiliary SATA power connection was plugged into the power supply, um, again, when it, it, would, it would cause it to backfeed 5 volts to the rest of the system you could not start the computer. Um, it simply would not start. And things didn't work properly even when I went into the UAFI setup and turned off, or actually, excuse me, turned on Deep Sleep to supposedly turn off these, uh, um, to supposedly not power the plus five standby, or excuse me, power the USB ports off five volt standby at all. But you could see when I plugged this thing in, even with Deep Sleep turned on, the USB ports would briefly still get power from plus five standby and even after it went out I still could not start the system due to like I mentioned the uh, design flaw in this product so if you happen to buy one of these buy easy um, front panel uh, USB port things I suggest that you do not use the SATA power connection if your USB ports are powered off of standby because like I, like I mentioned um, it could probably damage your power supply, it could probably damage other things. So hopefully the manufacturer will take this into account and revise this product to not tie in the auxiliary SATA power connection with 5 volts coming in off of the USB port from the motherboard. So anyways, hope you enjoyed this video, thanks for watching. Well, everybody, that wraps up for this video, and I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please like the video. Also, don't forget to subscribe to the computer channel, and be sure to tick that bell so you get notified when new videos are posted. Also, don't forget, I have a whole lot of other interesting videos here on the channel to check out. 
And also, in addition, I have a second channel, CubeComp MTDX, where I have all sorts of other videos not exactly related to technology. Links to the channels are available at the end of this video. Again, I thank you for your support and thanks for watching this video.